I've been gardening for a couple of years and there's a couple of things I've come to like. I like earthen beds and I like airlift pumps. What I've drawn here is a concept for a very low energy earthen bed design with an airlift pump. It's buried in the ground. This, it doesn't show it very well, but this would be bermed into the earth and this would be a um, say a EPDM, just a pond liner. So you've created the grow bed out of a pond liner which is fairly inexpensive as compared to what I've been using which is either an IBC or uh, a wooden tank that's, that's been fiberglassed. So I'm showing the the ground level here just to give you the idea. So here it is without the, the ground showing. And we can examine how this is done a little bit better this way. What I would do is use a uh, say like a 55 gallon drum, preferably a, um, a plastic one build my airlift pump, set it inside, got the uh, pond liner. The pond liner is, is uh, connected, the pipes that go through the pond liner are done with uh, a, um, by cutting a, a hole in the, in the pond liner just slightly less than the uh, diameter of the pipe and then using a stainless steel clamp around that to make it watertight. So the way this would work is this would be approximately um, six inches of uh, gravel filled in here. The water level would be maintained about two inches below the dirt. The water would be pumped out of the 55 gallon drum into the tank and a pipe that extends the entire length of the grow bed would um, take the water from this end and return it to the 55 gallon drum where it's then pumped back into the into the gravel So the gravel is about six inches. There's a the water level is about four inches, leaving a air gap of about two inches. In reality, I think what happens is you put a piece of um, oh shade cloth or drain field cloth down on this to keep the soil separated from the the gravel, and I'm sure that that just compresses down along the edges of the rock. So what happens is the moisture from the water wicks up through that cloth. And uh, even though the, it's the, even though the water level is two inches lower, it will wick up into the into the soil. And uh, so that's what I've been doing and I know that that works. works out great. So I think this could be a fairly inexpensive way to grow some earthen or to build some earthen beds and uh, I think it'd be great because you know airlift pump that's going to save a lot of a lot of cash right up front plus they're pretty foolproof I mean any they don't clog because anything that gets into the pipe just goes on through there's no impeller to clog up they last a long time because you don't have a pump in the water. You don't have an impeller to go bad. You don't have a, a motor. Well, you do have a motor on the air, the, the air compressor. But it's just, it's been my experience that they, the, a good air compressor uh, will last a good long time. And you can pump an awful lot of water uh, from a, a depth like this.
the amount of water that you could pump from a system like this would feed several, several grow beds. I imagine you could get well over a thousand gallons per hour through a, uh, an airlift pump coming from a depth of just less than three feet. <laughs>